Hello, Plant Tribe, and welcome back to Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. If you are new here, hello. It's so lovely to meet you. My name is Nikki. For those of you gluttons for punishment that just keep coming back for more, it is amazing to see you as always. So today I have a little bit of a different video. Um, I said in my last video I have all these ideas and stuff like that, and I'm just trying to find the time... And you'd think with all that's going on, I would have all the time in the world, but that's just not the case. I actually am still working, um, so don't really have any less time than usual. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I digress. So today I'm going to throw some information at you, some helpful tips and tricks. You ready for that? I'm sure most of you know that calcium is good for your plants. I'm sure you also know that eggshells contain a lot of calcium. In fact, eggshells contain about 90% of calcium um, bicarbonate and a bunch of other nutrients that are really great for your plants. So next time that you're making that Western omelet for breakfast, hold on to those shells. Don't toss them out just yet. Um, I'm going to show you four different ways that you can use those eggshells for your house plants and your plants are going to love you for it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and stick around and uh, let me tell you about it. So we are in some weird times right now. We can't get out to buy the things that we want. and it can be a little frustrating. For example, I am currently really low on soil. I don't want to get soil shipped. Bags of soil are heavy, so that'd probably cost me a pretty penny. So I might have to do one of those calling in and go pick it up curbside sort of deals. Anyways, fertilizer is probably one of those other things that maybe you're running low on. Maybe you can't get it shipped. Um, so why not use something that you probably have around the house anyways? Eggshells! <laughs> okay, so, so over time, eggshells break down in soil. Um, a lot of people use them. They'll throw their eggshells when they're done making their Western omelet or whatever you prefer. Um, they'll throw them in the compost uh, because they do break down and they do leave the nutrients in the soil. So that's why so many people uh, throw their eggshells instead of throwing them in the garbage they throw them in the compost because they break down and provide the plant or your gardens or whatever you're using that in all the nutrients that they need to thrive and survive so here are four ways that you can use your eggshells instead of tossing them for your house plants and your plants are going to love you for that little extra TLC let's check it out Okay, we are gonna do a little voiceover. <laughs> so bear with me. So the first thing you wanna do is start your kettle. Throw that on the stove. I just grabbed a plate so I could crush these eggshells. Um, I will, <laughs> they, they snap. And watch because they're extremely sharp. So when you are breaking them up and kind of squishing them around, just be mindful of that. Um, they're almost like little shards of glass. <clears throat> So anyway, I just, oh yeah, that was, that was gross. Okay, <laughs> voiceovers are fun. So yeah, here I am crushing the eggs, crushing them. What more can you say about that? Okay, so once you get them all crushed, you have to wait for your water to boil. Oh God, there, it's boiling. Turn off the stove, turn off the stove. There you go, okay. So now you want to go ahead and throw all of your eggshells into your bowl or whatever you want to use, something that can handle boiling hot water because you're about to dump boiling hot water all over these eggs. Shells. Shells. So gross. Ugh. Okay, so we've got our shells and we're going to pour it just like you'd make a tea, really. Only instead of a tea bag, you're going to use shells. Oh 
All right, you've got your hot water in there. Now, I do this with my tea, so I figured I would do it with dish shells as well. Um, I actually just took a spoon and kind of crunched them up a little bit more. I, I don't know, it was kind of like my way of thinking maybe it would release a little bit more of the, I don't know. But I mean, you know, like it can't hurt, I guess, right? So that's what I did. <laughs> Anyways, so after you get them all in there, go ahead and set them aside and let those suckers steep. 24 hours later. Okay, now grab yourself, I, I don't have a colander that has like really small, so I just used this rice cooker, which worked out quite well. And all you're gonna do is just strain out the eggshells. I'm sure you don't even really need a step-by-step -step because this is pretty obvious. But here I am anyways, and chatting to you. <clears throat> so then, after all of that, you just dump it in your watering can or whatever vessel you use to water your plants with. There's all your leftover eggshells. And just proceed to water your plant. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we have a happy plant. Okay, in this one, this is like a no-brainer. I've seen a lot of people do this. Just go ahead and put the sh broken shells um, around the top of your plant. As you water it, over time, all of the nutrients will be soaked down into the plant. <coughs> Excuse me. And your eggshells will break down and provide nutrients to your plant ongoing. There you go. Happy plant. Now, alternatively, <clears throat> you can mix this right into your plant. So I just use this tiny little uh, food processor, or it's more like a chopper. Don't forget to pour it all over your counter because that's an important step. Um, so yeah, go ahead and throw them in your food, presser, pr food processor and chop them all up. Uh, if you have like a, what are they called? A pestle and mortar, I think they're called. That also works. I don't have one of these and this little chopper worked perfectly. It is a little dusty when you open that lid. Yeah, so watch that. <laughs> there you go. So you have this like fine crushed eggshell powder almost. And then you're just gonna go ahead and mix that into your soil mix. So this is my aeroid mix that I'm using right here. <clears throat> Go ahead and mix that in it also does because um, it's not like super fine these ones so it does provide a little bit more aeration as well and obviously you know lots of nutrients etc Ta-da! and then you're just gonna go ahead and use it to pot your plants Ta-da! You have a gorgeous, new, healthy, in this case, melanocrysum in a pot with all kinds of nutrients. And then you can even, for good measure, go ahead and give it a water with that water that you just made. Excellent. Yay! Now, this one probably goes without saying, and some of you may actually do this. Uh, I've seen this done with rocks or uh, bark or things like that, but just go ahead and um, put some eggshells at the bottom. So you're not only getting that coverage of the drainage hole, but then these eggshells obviously will break down over time and pull nutrients up into the soil. And then you can just go ahead and plant your little baby in there.
I'm so excited. P.S. Side note that this plant is finally growing. Um, I got this um, Mandula Pothos uh, as a cutting from a subscriber. Oh my goodness, last like late spring, I think it was, and it was so slow starting. I it came with like I think three or four leaves. I lost all but one of them and now it's finally growing again and it's so beautiful. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so this next one is kind of cool. So you can use eggshells to plant your uh, little succulent cuttings in or even to start seeds or things like that. So it's really cool because it provides a steady con um, uh, continual, <laughs> words are hard Nikki, um, source of nutrients and calcium for your freshly growing plants or seeds. Um, so you wanna poke a hole in the bottom. <clears throat> this part's really gross. P.S. and I have a thing with eggs anyways so this just like ugh, wig me right out it's all gelatinous and snotty and oh sorry TMI <clears throat> anyways so then I broke the yolk so don't 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 be Nikki don't do what I did <laughs> this is so nasty Oy. anyways you just want to break the top off so I'm actually just using a tiny little like eyeglass screwdriver and then just kind of break it down so that it resembles kind of like a cup. There you go. Now you want to go ahead and give it a good wash out, get all that slime and um, residual egg snot out of it. There we go. Nice, clean, fresh egg cup. Okay, now I just used this little, I don't even know where I got that thing. It's like a tall shot glass. You can use whatever. I just put that paper towel on the top just to kind of hold it up a little bit further at the top of the cup. You need your succulent cutting or whatever you're using and your soil. So this is my succulent soil, which is a mixture of perlite, sand. I think there's some really fine bark in there and just my regular potting mix that I use for everything else. So you just want to fill up your little egg cup. And then just make a little divot in the top. Now this succulent cutting has already started to root, so I had to make the hole just a smidgen bigger. And you just set them in there, throw some additional soil in if needed. There we go. And then just give it a little quick water with your, I use these, this little squeezy bottle. And I swear by this thing for all of my cacti and succulents. It's also great for succulent and cacti planters that don't have drainage because then you're just watering the root ball directly. So I highly recommend those and I think they are in my description of my videos. But anyways, I digress. <clears throat> so then you're just going to go ahead and throw it in your sunny window. Don't um, have it like directly in direct rays all day because it'll just burn out. But there you go, you have yourself a little nutrient-rich succulent propagation cup. So what'd you think about that? Easy peasy, like that took me no time to do. So I encourage you guys, give it a shot. It's a project, you've got some time on your hands, why not? Let me know, I'm really curious, uh, have you ever used eggshells for your gardens or for your indoor plants. How did you use them? Do you have any other tips and tricks for using eggshells with gardening, indoor or otherwise? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. I'd really like to know. Uh, if this was helpful to you at all, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And um, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and consider doing so. It is a huge help to our channel and I really do appreciate it. Well, that is all. That is all the information that I have to cram out to you today. So thank you so much again for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. I love you all to bitty bits. Have a great day, night, week, month, and year, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah!